Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to my floor. Here's my floor. <laughs> I wanted to do a video today um, where I post review, I do a post review of the kit that I just finished, which is Pride. So I'm going to show you the finished product real quick. Um, let's see if I can get it sit flat. Kind of all in frame. <laughs> e. E. Nope. Come on, camera. There we go. There we go. So, um, this is Pride. It is from Diamond Art Club and, God, I'm like blanking everything. Diamond Art Club and JoJo's Art. It is an amazing fucking piece. I love it very much and I loved working on it. Um, it was one of those kits that, whew, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. It was one of those kits that I grabbed a really long time ago and I actually had waited like a year to start it. Um, I bought it, I think I, I can't remember. I might have bought it with like a gift card. I was waiting to buy it um, because it's so expensive because it's huge. This is a 112 centimeter by 56 centimeter diamond painting. So it's long. It's a big boy. Um, it has 49 colors in it and one, two, three ABs. Hold on, no, two ABs, two ABs. Um, yeah, it just, look at it. Isn't it so gorgeous? I, uh, we are no stranger on this channel to knowing that I'm bisexual. I say it all the time. So this was like a big deal for me. It's very like, and I bought it right around the time I was like figuring out that I was bisexual. And so it was very, um, meaningful to me. And so it was something I was saving for like just the right moment. And so I wanted to, I was planning on starting it last year for Pride Month. Um, and I didn't get it in the mail in time to start it in time. And so I started it this year for Pride Month. So I started it in June and I finished it four months later, whatever that, <laughs> on June, July, August, no, June, July, August, September. I finished it in September. Um, I don't remember exactly what day. I'd have to like go back and look it up. Um, but isn't it fucking gorgeous? I just think the, I, this is why I love Diamond Art Club, okay? I just think the rendering is so fantastic. The colors are so fantastic. Even though it's pixel art, it doesn't look like it. You know, it looks fantastic, amazing. And it's, there were a lot of blues. I'll tell you what, there were a lot of fucking blues. Um, when you got to this section over here, the, you know, it got very colorful, but when you're at this section over here, it's just blue and 939 and more blue and more 939. <laughs> so it's like, you have to be a little prepared for the fact that it's gonna be very dark in certain areas, very blue in certain areas. So if you don't wanna work with the color blue a lot, don't do this painting. Um, because there's like, as you can see, there's a little bit of color on the back of the tiger. She has a lot of color in her. There's a little bit of color in him, a little bit of color in the fishies up there, but um, otherwise it's blue. <laughs> um, but I, I think it was gorgeous. I really had a ton of fun working on it. And the way that I did it was I went, started in this bottom corner right here and did the whole row along the bottom, up, next row, up, next row, up, next row. So I got, a, cause if you did it like this, like zigzagged this direction, I feel like you'd get totally worn out on the blues really quickly, but then you get, so if you wanna get the blues over with, I guess, you do it that way and then you get the colors at the end. Whereas the way that I did it, you mix in blue color, blue color, blue color until you get to the end. So it, that's, that's what I thought was great. This is a round drill kit, so I didn't have any problems with the drills at all. I usually don't with round drills. The only problems that, I've ever, that I ever usually have is with square drills. 
Of course, the adhesive was fantastic. The rendering is fantastic. I expect nothing less from Diamond Art Club. So um, I really thought it was amazing. And the only thing is that I heard, I've heard people talk about this before when it comes to this kit. I specifically remember Katie talking about it from Diamonds and Washi when she did this kit was the ABs. There are two ABs that's a blue AB, duh, and like a light pink AB. And the blue AB, you can kind of see, there's a little bit right there above the fish. There's a little bit right there. There's a little bit, there is some in the dragon, yeah? Yeah, there are some in the dragon. Um, there's a little bit right here coming off of the tiger's back. Like they sort of spread it out. Oh yeah, there's a little bit in her hair. Do you see that right there? Um, and a little bit in the birdie, like they spread it out pretty good. Um, what didn't make sense, that one was fine. What didn't make sense was the light, the light pink. The only place that I remember and that I can see at the moment that this light pink AB shows up is right here. Do you see this little patch right behind her butt? <laughs> That's it. That's where it shows up. So I don't quite know what the decision making choice of that was. I think you missed that. They could have had five or six ABs and done it just in the rainbow colors. I think they could have done it like even like do the blue AB like they did, but then have a green AB, yellow AB, red AB. Yeah. And then sprinkle it throughout her hair and throughout this palette right here, which if I remember right, that's kind of what Diamonds and Washi did was she um, added some colorful ABs in here. I didn't feel like doing that, so I didn't do it. But I think like that would have been a better choice than this random a, why, B, the placement, why, C, the color, why. Um, I don't quite understand it. Oh yeah, look, there's a little bit right there too, right on the top of the bird's wing. That's where it like swoop up like that. Why? <laughs> I don't understand it. Um, but the, otherwise, the, the rendering and everything was gorgeous. I just, that's not what I would have picked for the AB placement, frankly. Um, but, and it's surprising to me because uh, Diamond Art Club usually does a really fantastic job of their ABs and the AB placement and the AB choices. And I feel like they just kind of fell through with this one. That especially like if you had done a yellow AB right here, that uh, doing it in the tip of her paintbrush and on the fish's tail would have also been fantastic. Why didn't they do that? You know what I mean? So, um, but otherwise, just look at it, it's fucking gorgeous. Like I said, it took me four months to finish this kit. That is the longest it has ever taken me to finish a diamond painting. Um, <laughs> I used to, A, because it's huge, and B, because now that I cross stitch, I don't diamond paint as much as I used to, and also just like, I'm very busy, so I don't, I don't craft as much as I used to. Um, when I first started diamond painting, I had a lot more time to just like sit and diamond paint all day and I just don't have that anymore. So um, it took me four months and I used to be able to finish diamond paintings in a week. You know, this one might have taken me two or three, but still four months is a long fucking time. So I was really excited when I finished this. Um, I don't plan on hanging it up anywhere. Like I, I, I don't with any of my diamond paintings, frankly, they get um, rolled up and they're, they're stored in my closet so that I can pull them out and look at them and whatever, but I don't hang them on the wall. I don't have that much wall space, nor do I care to. Um, I really, I do diamond paintings just to do them. Um, I like the process of doing them. I like the whatever. I don't feel the need to like hang them up places. Um, so I just like to do them. But yeah, that's kind of all I had to say about this kit because it's, it's you know, it's very standard Diamond Art Club quality, but I thought it was important to point out the ABs and all that good stuff. Um, I also, let's see if I can, eh, I'm walking around the diamond painting so I can grab it. Here we go. Hey, look at this master. I'm also attached to a mic, so I have to be very careful. <laughs> Coming back around, okay. I also, this was the first kit that I ever logged in my logbook. For those of you who don't know, this is my diamond painting logbook. Um, it is, I, I designed it, created it, sell it in my Etsy shop. Um, 
And this was the first kit that I documented here. I need to find out the end date, the day that I finished it, so that I can fill this in. But this was the first one I ever documented and I need to go, I need to do the, um, the next one. The, I just kitted up winter and I need to do that, but this is what it looks like for now. And I think it looks amazing. So, um, yeah, it's not, I do need to figure out the finish date, but this was the first diamond painting that I logged in my own log book. Um, so that was very exciting. Um, I think that's it. 10 minutes, not too bad. <laughs> I just wanted to show it to you and show you that I was complete and talk a little bit about it. I loved this kit. I highly recommend this kit. I don't know for sure if it's sold out or not. I will be linking it in the description, um, the description box below this video. So if it is in stock, um, I'll say it down there and it will be linked as well. So if you wanted to add it to your favorites or whatever, um, this is a very popular kit. So uh, it goes out, it goes out of stock a lot. So, but if you want it out, uh, you can put it on your wish list and wait for it to come back into stock if it's, if it isn't already in stock right now. So, but that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys like this kit. Look at how absolutely gorgeous it is. Oh, I love it so much. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are having a great day, uh, and that you are doing a lot of crafting <laughs> because fun. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.